Hello and welcome to today's B Business B vlog. And well, it's today, it's Brexit day, so I suppose the topic today has to be Brexit. And I think, like most of us, we're all fed up of hearing it. But let's look at it from a business point of view. Brexit certainly caused and has caused uncertainty. And if there's one thing businesses hate in life, it's uncertainty. If there's one thing we as consumers hate, it's uncertainty. Unbelievably, despite all the talk that's been going on in Parliament, our economy has actually been growing, albeit slowly, but it has been growing still. But the longer that the uncertainty continues, the more likely we are to see cutbacks. You've seen in the news about the trouble with the high street, for example, this Christmas, and how consumers have been more savvy. Some reports suggest we spent exactly the same as we spent in the previous Christmas. So it's pretty clear that Brexit is causing uncertainty, and we as customers then start to save rather than spending. And of course, that creates job cuts because then businesses look to try and make savings. And of course, that starts that whole cycle of uncertainty, which can lead us into a recession. Remember, two quarters of negative growth, and we head for a recession. So of course, whatever happens, we probably need an outcome. We probably can't go back to the drawing board. So the people that are saying, let's have another referendum, well, that's going to create more uncertainty. Also, by the same token, of course, if we leave with what they talk about, no deal, well, if there's no plan in place, then potentially it could cause uncertainty. And that's what we're trying to look to do. And obviously, our Prime Minister is putting a deal together today, whether you like it or not, rightly or wrongly, we're not getting into that debate. But the idea of that deal is to try and create some certainty, which will limit the impact on economic growth. That uncertainty, of course, will have an impact globally. So it will have an effect in Europe. I think they're finding that their growth rate has started to slow this morning. I think Germany has reported its slowest growth figures that it's had for many, many years. So you can see that maybe there is an impact and a knock-on effect. And you're probably thinking, how does that affect me? Well, it affects you in many ways. Because when we get uncertainty, when you feel less confident... Obviously, the markets feel less confident. Stock markets start to. So if you've got any investments, for example, got any pensions, you've got anything like that, you may find that the value of those starts to fall. Companies themselves that are based on paper value may need to borrow more money from external sources rather than raising that capital based on what the value on paper is of their shares. So these things that we talk about and we hear it on the news and Brexit and all the rest of it, it actually has a massive effect more so based on the uncertainty it causes. And that is why I wanted to make today's theme and topic more about uncertainty and the impact it has and less about the topic of Brexit, because rightly or wrongly, that's been debated, that's been discussed, but we have a duty of care probably as a country and as a government to make sure that we limit the amount of uncertainty that we cause to our economy. And on that note, I'll finish there and say, remember to keep buzzing and make sure you check out the B Business B Vlogs.